Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make this sniper scope. Here you can zoom in and zoom out. This was a request from Mr. Mice. So, uh, this is just for uh, demonstration purpose. Uh, you could make a, a better one if you want. I will just show you how this works. So, I have this mesh here which I created in Blender. You can just use a uh, cylinder if you want. So, the first thing I am going to do is that I am just going to uh, delete my original scope and all the nodes associated with it so I will just cut the video here so now uh, we are going to create our scope actor so you can do this on the gun if you want but I am just going to create a separate actor for it so right click then blueprint class actor I will name this scope Then I will open it up. Then I will drag and drop this scope in. So uh, we need this green portion to face the other way. So we are going to look through this green green portion. So I'm just going to rotate this in the C axis. I'm just going to give it a value of 180. So now it faces this way and now I'm going to add a camera so add component camera now I will uh, rotate this camera so it faces this way So we are going to uh, see what is in front of this camera here in this green portion. Now we need a now we need to create a render target. So go to kind of browser materials and textures render target and I will name this scope. RG for render target then I will go back to the scope and add component type in scene capture component and go down here and the, and in the texture target of the screen capture we are just going to drag and drop this in here now we are going to create a material from this so right click and create material and open it up and change this to unlit material and connect this to MEC color so we are going to apply this material to this green portion um, if you are using a cylinder you can just apply this to the cylinder and it will um, show up in the end faces the end caps of the cylinder so now I will go to the scope mesh in the scope actor and this green material we are going to change it to this material so now let's see if this is working or not so drag this scope in so as you can see it is working so that's working now we are going to add the zoom effect so before that we are going to add this scope to our first person character so open up the first person character blueprint then 
go to viewport then drag and drop the scope in and uh, I will drag and drop this into the FP gun so it, it gets parented to that gun then I will change the scale to 0 0.1 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 on all three axes so we get something like this so let's see what this looks like so I'm just going to change the collusion on this to no collusion so we can work freely and our character won't collide with it so I just delete this one okay so this is working fine now now we are going to add the zoom in and zoom out effect before that uh, we will place this in a bit more better position so um that looks fine so how we are going to uh, zoom in and zoom out is using the field of vision of the scene capture component and not the camera so so it is set to 90 if I lower this uh, it will be zoomed out a bit more so we are going to zoom using that so I will set this to 30 now now go to first person character then select the scope and uh, go down here and to input and auto receive input and change this to player 0 so we can uh, input uh, the mouse wheel to the actor so uh, before that uh, if we uh, tried to get mouse wheel up and print screen and if I connect this and if I scroll up uh, you, you can see hello but if I change this to disabled it won't work so uh, this basically allows us to input events to our scope or child actor so we change this to player 1 I mean player 0 because this is player 0 then compile so now on wheel up we need to increase the field of vision and on mouse wheel down we need to decrease the field of vision so so before that we are going to store the initial field of vision to a variable so drag and drop the skin capture component then type in get field of vision then promote to variable and I will name this FOV for field of vision um, then connect this here so our initial field of vision gets saved in this variable so get mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down event So now we will drag and drop our field of view, get, then we will type in plus. So we will increase the value by 1 and alt drag and drop the field of vision. So we get to set the field of vision now. So connect this to here and connect this here and select all this 
and press ctrl w so we get to duplicate it and connect this to here and change this to minus one so let's see I think that's a very low value I will change this to 5 and change this to minus 5 <laughs> I forgot something so we need to drag and drop the scene capture component then set field of view and connect this here and connect this here and just uh, select both this and control w so we get to duplicate this and connect this to here and connect this here so now we can zoom in and zoom out You can also uh, hook this up to a timeline or something so you get automatic uh, zooming in and zooming out. O also, you can use some lerf functions to uh, blend this zooming a bit better so it will ease out an easing. So, this is a very basic way to create a sniper scope. So here you can see that if we go b below the value of 0, we get some errors. So let's fix that. So drag this here and press and hold B. So we get this branch and connect this here and connect this here. So it will only work when a condition is true and the condition is this greater than or equal to um, 1 so we don't go below 0 and we can also uh, do that here so copy this to now press ctrl w so we can duplicate it and connect this here we actually need a, a less than or equal to here so delete that and drag from here and less than or equal to and change this value to 90 or something so now we can uh, go below that limit So that's all there is to it. Um, if you like my tutorials, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.